Alright, let's take a quick look at the brand new footage of the Reignited Trilogy. They're very, very brief. I mean, we're talking about Lofty Castle, Cliff Town, a few screenshots of Terrasse Village, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go. Lofty Castle. The first major difference we can all notice is the color palette. That pink peach tone from the original is gone. The funny thing is, the sky looks pinker, but when it comes to pink, up until the footage of E3 2018, we don't see any pink in the sky, right? It seems like they are considering it, or maybe not, maybe they just added pink from the get-go for Lofty Castle. Now what I mean by, you know, E3 2018's footage is, Artisans for example, from B-Roll, they added pink. The pink wasn't there before. But still, this to me looks like an earlier build. Here's why. We got four key factors, which I believe the three make the most amount of sense. The first one being the gem color in the hood. It's green and not the purple pink we have in our latest footage. Two, the second Cupid drops a green gem. He's supposed to drop a blue one. Now the trailer, when we first had it, it had missing gems. So we are looking at different belts for sure. Three, this screenshot has the yellow in his tail fading to purple. It matches exactly what we see in this short gameplay. And we do not see this in the recent E3 gameplays. They removed that fade. So, this is an older build, it looks like it, than what we've seen at E3. 4. Maybe, I don't know about this one, but maybe you might agree, the metal chests have a lighter color. Comparing them to, let's say, Toasty, they look darker. Now some of you might say, but dude, it's just the lighting. But to me, it looks like they're more blue in this earlier build. They're now darker. So guys, although some of you are not happy with the new darker colors, I mean, there's a bunch from what I've been reading. I don't hate it, but I understand your concern. But what I just said is, it's early footage. And seeing as how they're handling the situation, Toys for Bob, they are going over feedback, they are listening to fans, Toys for Bob did say there's a tremendous amount of support. So we should wait and see what happens. I like that extra detail in the sky, is that a moon? Anywho, let's move on to Cliff Town. The sky definitely looks less orange, and it does have this warm sunset feel. The Pueblos now have a darker cape. That's the thing with the Reignite Trilogy. All enemies who had this reflective barrier, this light shield, now have it darker. Again, the second Pueblo, I'm sure this is early footage, has green gem. He's supposed to have a blue one. The gem counter, the gem icon I mean, is green again. So this is as old as Lofty's castles built. They removed the cactuses, well actually they still kept some of them, probably for artistic reasons. The level overall just looks darker. And this neck glitch, I don't know if this was intentionally left, but considering this is early footage, it could be unlikely. And Toys for Bob at E3 did bring up exploits, and they did mention speedrunners. They didn't say, oh we should keep them in, but the fact that they brought it up, and if we matched that, with this neck glitch, I'm wondering, are they going to keep those in? What do you think? The third one, which I believe I'm a bit late on. The latest Game Informer, which has a section of four and a half pages of Spyro, if I'm not mistaken. Three screenshots of Terrasse Village. We did get a glimpse before with the Laser Norks. It looks beautiful, what am I gonna say? Since this is from a magazine, the tree in the back give off this paint finish? And it looks like they put Spyro's 3D render, but mixed it with concept. I mean, look at the dragon statue in the back. It looks painted, it looks like it's part of a concept. So I'm, I'm guessing this was done for magazine purposes. And that statue right there, I believe that's Cyprin's. Here's another look at a laser Nork from a different angle. Same spiky hair going on red, darker clothes this time. The third screenshot. I believe comparing it to the original, it's this location right here. There's a lot more green, and the level just has more of a green hue. They added a bunch of grass around, as opposed to just a plain ground. Last thing for the video, guys. A hero bundle just released. Uh, hold up, hold up, listen up. As in, a new dynamic theme with a new avatar. No, it's not an avatar a skin in the game, no, it's just a picture of your profile on PlayStation. If you pre-order it, digitally, and already have, you can download this for free. It's Sunny Flight, it looks like it, and Sunny Flight, the theme plays in the background. 
This is available so far in Canada and US. UK? It doesn't look like it. So with that being said guys, this is it for this video. If I forgot anything, mention it in the comments section below. I will maybe make a video going over everything we learned on Spyro since E3. When will it be up? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> So that's why I'm not making a promise, okay? But I believe I will work on it soon. So yep, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.